So, we've got another update with the garden. It is, let's see, I think it's the 11th. So, tell me, hold on a second. There it goes. Yeah, it's Sunday, June 11th. Um, we had a lot of rain recently and a lot of heat as well. So, oh, looks like I dropped one of them. Oh no, they're still attached. I've got um, three big Ziploc, or four big Ziploc bags now of these different green beans. I am gonna have so many different uh, cucumbers. I'm not gonna know what to do. I bought two different kinds and uh, and they're growing, but uh, they're everywhere. There's another one. There's like five or six plants here. That's beans. But uh, all these, and I'm having a problem with, uh, last year I didn't have any of those spotted lantern flies on my plants, but this year, for some reason on this particular, uh, only this particular uh, cucumber plant, there's been tons of them that I've had to get off of it. And a lot more cucumbers going up there. These are getting a lot bigger. <coughs> Two here. I guess I just stuck seeds anywhere and everywhere. Um, all my uh, bean plants, I pulled, like I said, three, four big Ziploc bags full. But they're starting to discolor, especially around front and some other places. They're like this. And I don't, they did this to me last year at a certain point in time. I don't know why they do it, but um, at the same time, some of them are growing great, others not so much. Uh, another big summer squash plant in there another cucumber plant another summer squash that one's not doing as well the beans i've got a ziploc bag of them now i mean peas these are all uh the um broccoli which growing pretty big i still don't understand how they're going to turn into heads of broccoli <laughs> The corn's still all messed up up here. More broccoli growing bigger. The summer squash is doing well. I think we've got one back here that's ready to go and maybe another in a little bit. Lots of flowers. I haven't seen really any bees. Maybe one or two. Um, these uh, watermelons aren't doing all that great. I just bought two, those two there, two, uh, them. Uh, I don't know if they're going to live or not. I bought them at the grocery store two days ago, and they seem to be weeping. Um, another, uh, cucumber here. Down there are, uh, these I believe are, um, there's another cucumber plant with a cucumber on it. These are uh, cantaloupe down there, those vines. Uh, that's romaine lettuce. Not, I mean, I guess it's okay. It's not doing as much good as I'd like it to. There's some more romaine in there. And I don't know how that romaine back there came up. I didn't plant it. It just came up. Uh, the celery is right there and I had two of them there I have no idea what happened to the other one at least I'm pretty sure I had two of them there and one of them right there maybe I didn't maybe I'm just crazy but the real uh, difference is up front these are all um, uh, radishes uh, there's another little cucumber coming out but the real difference is up front. Uh, 
look at this. The watermelons have grown quite a bit and we've got watermelons coming out actually growing. So I think I counted like six or eight of them, something like that. But that's growing good. I'm a little worried about it being in here still, but seems to be doing okay. More cucumbers. More cucumbers. <laughs> More cucumbers. Squash. Squash. Um, the corn that I was just messing around with and planted out here seems to be doing the best out of everything. It's much thicker, much, much thicker. At least double as thick as this stuff. Um, I don't know why. Maybe because I, I, I can't figure out why. And these bean plants are the ones I'm talking about. I'm having trouble with them. Uh, those are still okay, kind of, but you see they're all discoloring and uh, not doing so hot, in my opinion. Even these are losing their green. Um, I'm thinking about using a little bit of uh, Epsom salt, I guess it's called on there, some corn. Um, but I, I don't want to overdo it. Oh, look, more uh, cucumbers. But I don't want to overdo it and kill them. And I think that they've got too much water already inside of the pots, but I, I don't know, they're just not doing well. But uh, real happy about the watermelons. I had a real problem with them last year, then they just wouldn't grow. So, yeah, everything seems to be doing okay besides those beans. If anybody has any type of uh, suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Thanks.